Hey Lydia, what are you up to? <laughs> Ow! Just wipe the heel of my boot off. <gasps> Slippery little sucker. And now, oh my god. <laughs> Got this like crop jacket cardigan thing. It's that time of year. You look like a candy floss stick. Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vid. Not done a little vlog for a while, so I'm quite excited to get back on it. I've been to Rhodes. That's what we did. We came back a week ago yesterday, which was Monday. Um, it's now Tuesday the 24th, I think, of September. I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm not going to do too much of an intro, and I'll just talk to you later about different things, but I'll just show you my outfit before I go. I'm going for a meeting with Estee Lauder in Manchester. We're going to the Abode Hotel, which I've never been to before. I've got my hair cut as well, by the way, which I'm really loving. Anyway, we're going to the Abode Hotel for a meeting with Estee Lauder. So usually these meetings are just basically talking about the products, you know, having a little chat and anything like new releases and stuff like that. So that is what the meeting, I presume, is about. It is pouring down today. I was meant to be shooting, but it's so rainy. It's honestly miserable today. Um, so I'm just gonna try and shoot this outfit. I literally just ran to the car to put stuff in and I got soaking. So I've got this old uh, Zara jumper on. Finally got the high neck back out again. These earrings from Mango. This trench coat, which is amazing like leather piece is from Pixie Market. Leather trench coats are huge at the moment. I'm definitely gonna be a big trend. And I just think like it kind of instantly makes the outfit look a bit more modern. Kind of 90s vibes, but I think it instantly makes like, you'll be wearing jeans and a white t-shirt and then put this on. It's kind of minimal, slightly scandy. Anyway, um, old Zara trousers, which I can't link. People ask me all the time when I wear these, where they're from. They are from Zara, but I have seen similar versions coming out and then old boots from Dorothy Perkins. So yeah, the only new piece really is this trench coat and the earrings. And then bag wise, I've just got my Louis on, which doesn't really go bit. It's got enough, I need to fit my camera in there. I might take my big brolly, a bit of makeup, phone, essentials. So I'm gonna take this one with me, but yeah, I'm gonna head off now. I'm just gonna actually get the train in. Tim's dropping me off at the train station. I'm gonna get the train in and hopefully I'll try and vlog a bit, but you know, it's a meeting, so we'll see. So, I made it to Manchester with Freya with our matching brollies, Paul Mitchell brollies. Oh, it's chucking it down. Well, we're trying to get content on the move. Anyway, we're just at the Abode Hotel. I realized before that I said we're going to an Essay Lauder meeting. We're actually going to a Lancome meeting. Owned by Estee Lauder. Yes. So, so, you know, I think there might be, I don't the same they might vicinity. be talking about other brands as well. Anyway, we're going to head in now, get out of this rain. We've just shot our outfits just about. Yes. Just, um, and now we're going to go inside, hopefully have some lunch. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless up to <laughs> so it's actually the next day now and I didn't vlog um, last night when I got in because we just didn't really do anything we watched the end of the island it's like a Netflix series which is quite good mm. um, you're not sure well, it's a bit on the fence with that one really a bit weird. I, quite, it was a bit weird I want to actually talk to you about the meeting <laughs> The meeting. These are my Chanel ones, but I need to both get these and my Gucci ones resold um, because they've not got rubber soles on yet. These hurt a little bit though, so I wouldn't advise to get the Chanel ones, but the Gucci ones are so comfortable. 
want to actually talk to you about all the products that I got yesterday and the meeting that I had. I'll do that when I get home tomorrow. It's just a little update, but we're just shooting in Manchester today because it was raining so badly yesterday. With Tim, we've done two outfits already. I finished this final look and then we're going to have something to eat. I'm wearing Zara knit, Zara trousers, both in my Zara haul, my Gucci loafers and a Zara headband. And then, I don't know which bag to take. So basically, I got this one from the Catwalk Club, which is like a loan service. So basically, you can loan designer bags. And this is one that I've got on loan from them, just to share and post about it. But I mean, I really like this one. But then I've got this one as well, just to take, I've already shot this. But I've got this one because I think it goes with my shoes better, but what a shoe thing. I want to wear this really because I don't, won't have it for long. I like the one on the right. This one? No, this, this one. one. Oh, you're right. Am I right? For Chanel. Mm. I'll wear that one then. What do you think of the headband? Uh, you look like a candy floss stick. A candy floss what? Stick. So, um... That's it, we'll talk to you in a minute. Mm. <laughs> Just walked past the cat cafe. Such a cute look. Uh, He's sleeping. Not on my game. We've only seen like two though, haven't we? Mm. So, we're just trying to find somewhere to eat. I might go to Mackie Mayer, shall we go? Mackie's? <laughs> I'll go Mackie's. Not Mackie's. Um, I think we've got everything shot, but I feel like I need some more pictures of this outfit because I don't think it was quite good enough what we did before. <laughs> lunch well brunch in federal now we've just come to uniqlo tim's trying on a new little coat it's nice it's really nice oh strike pose so this is it 89.90 it's a really nice it's got padding on the inside as well it's really nice everyone so obviously not in Manchester anymore I think the last time I picked up my camera was was it when we were in Uniqlo probably when we were in Uniqlo looking for a coat for Tim he didn't get one but um he said he might kind of have a think about that one and go back for it um but he's going on holiday and he's going to Lisbon which is still quite hot well still very hot I think um so I don't think he's in any mood for thinking about autumn at the moment anyway I've got my cup of tea and I basically wanted to talk to you all about because I feel like I've not done a vlog where I've actually spoken very much it's it's always been more about out and about and what I'm doing sorry you can see the reflection of the ring light but it's quite a dull day so I wanted to have the ring light on I realized as well that my mug is matching my whole outfit so it's a grey and white striped one this one is from M&S and we've had them at our house for ages and Tim really liked them when he came round so he bought some for his house so they are still in stock because he got those fairly recently but they are a really good size mug I'm on the lookout for a good mug actually let me know where you get your mugs from because we're moving in three and a half weeks now which is scary um, but I'm on the lookout for some really good mugs and I'm kind of uninspired by, I've looked at White Company, John Lewis, H&M, Wayfair, m and I'm kind of uninspired. So let me know if you've got any good mug companies. I've also looked at HomeSense, but the good thing with HomeSense is that every one of them differs. So I might be able to find one in a different one. 
Anyway, I'm just wearing, today is Thursday, so quite, um, it's just an at-home casual day. I've just put this knit on, but I'm realising it's actually not that cold outside. It's a bit miserable and dull, but it's not that cold. This is an old H&M one, but I got one really similar from Uniqlo. Let me find it for you. So I've just got this one in from Uniqlo, which is a bit longer, so you can kind of see the difference in length. A bit longer, but a very similar concept. Um, so I probably will try and link this one for you. I think it was 40, I think the label's still on, 45, which, no, did I just say it from Uniqlo? I meant under the stories. I think for under the stories, 45 is quite a reasonable price and it's just a really nice shape and cut and I think it's just going to be so lovely and cosy in winter. This one is a little bit worn now, so it's a bit more of like a house jumper. And then these are just some kind of whitish collots from H&M also, but I don't think they're in stock anymore. I just had a little look to see if I could link them, but I don't think they are. They're quite, not old, but they're summer season, so you know, they're probably not around. I'll try and find an alternative though. Right, so what my main thing I came on here for is, I'm gonna drink my cup of tea. I'm an English breakfast tea lover, by the way, so. Milky but strong. Apologies for drinking this all the way through. I've got boxy. <laughs> got boxes and boxes so I thought it's easiest just to show you all in one go so we went to the meeting the other day with Lancome which was so lovely we met one of the well we met two of the girls there actually and what else have we got I think that's it yeah so my main thing that I've actually been wearing let me find it I think it's in my makeup bag oh yeah just say so i've actually been wearing this since i got it so the past two days is this lancome tent tent idol ultra wear in nude so basically it's their ultra wear foundation which is so popular for the brand i think it's like one of their main kind of best selling pieces they brought out a light version which for me is great because i'm wanting to go a little bit more i don't mean light as in shade i mean as in coverage i want to go a bit more light in terms of not wearing too much heavy foundation because on holiday i was just wearing a cc cream and i found that worked really well so um i've been popping this on this is in nude 011 beige crystalline which i'm finding is a really good color it's spf 19 as well very specific number but i'm finding it's a really good coverage the past few days i've been wearing it it's stayed on all day so i'm really enjoying this actually and also i don't know if you can tell but i'm not wearing any fake tan at the moment kind of going fake tan free and seeing how that goes because to be honest i just find it such a pain it goes patchy it goes blotchy and i don't know i'm just i'm just kind of over it for a little bit so i'm just going very pale so that is probably a really pale version always worth trying it out though but i really really recommend this and then something else she introduced to us is the idol fragrance so if you like quite light fragrances what's the one the other one, really popular one, oh, La Vie Belle. The one that Julia Roberts sponsors, is endorsed, endorses. That is so popular, she said. She actually said quite a few of the products are in, I think she sort of said at least the top 10 best selling in the country for various, whatever the product was, like foundation, uh, perfume, etc. So this is the new bottle for Idol look how thin it is so she said the architect that designed this um wanted it even thinner but this is the thinnest they could have the bottle without it shattering so it's designed to kind of put on your table like that you can't stand it up um it's designed to put on the table kind of like a phone she said it's kind of that sort of size and it smells beautiful it's very very fresh quite summery but i like a fresh light scent particularly in the daytime it is honestly gorgeous and tim really liked it as well and he's i don't know he's got really strong sense of smell so he said he really liked this one too so i feel like i've got the seal of approval but yeah it, it is lovely very I think very florally not necessarily florally but very fresh light um youthful it's a really lovely perfume and also comes in all different sizes as well. 
So something that's not coming out till the end of October is this lipstick. So this is a new shade lipstick. I'm gonna show you the actual stick. L'Absolute Rouge Ruby Cream. This is in Hot Pink Ruby, um, but it's such an interesting, so, oh yeah, you pop it down at the top like that, you press it down, pops out, and then, if you can see the shape of it, It's like a, like all different shapes and cuts around the front of it. I don't even, can't even tell if that's focused or not, but I think you can get the idea. But basically it's all cut out for really precise application. I think this time of year is perfect to kind of experiment with nice bright colours like that as well. And then finally, we've got the new Genérifique. Genérifique. Genifique. Advanced Genifique, it's their serum basically. So it's a new formula and basically it's designed even better to help protect against pollutants, outside factors, aging process, etc. And again, she said this was a really popular formula. So you just screw it up like that, pop it on and you don't even need too much either because it gives such good coverage just spread it all over it's really nice and light again it's just got a nice scent without being overpowering i think you can say the same for the perfume obviously it's not about the smell but it's a really useful little bottle and yeah new formula as well so that is lancome i've had so many beauty deliveries i feel like now is the time for new launches etc so this is from Illamasqua and it's called loaded lips and they have sent so many colors look at that how amazing so it's the loaded lip polish collection by Illamasqua so let's have a look for colors there's all different colors in this let's find a favorite there's a bit of a brownie one here she's got pink she sent me pink she's brownies this is the container container tube whatever it's called it's slightly brownie i feel like that's such bad application but they're very non-sticky which is perfect for a lip gloss i hate it when you've got that sticky and it's sticking to your hair and it's very non-sticky actually it's just a nice light texture so definitely will be trying those out and experimenting with lip colors <laughs> sorry i've got so much but i quite like seeing new in products especially beauty sorry i've got so much but i do enjoy kind of seeing people's unboxings and just talking about new products and new releases because it's always good to know what's out there on the market um particularly as it's a new season we want new season things so these are from ico all different products so we've got eyeliner here liquid liner which i'm definitely going to try because i'm a liquid liner fan so this is a brow defining pencil I think this is a new product so we've got a brow defining pencil um so you've got the stick up there and then the brush down here and i'm finding these i'm using a lot of these where they've got the brush on one end and the pencil on the other because it's just so much easier than having a separate brush and fucking around with more um tools and implements i just think it's so much easier to have it all in one brush it out and you're good to go especially if you are traveling okay so that's ico illamasqua okay so i'm gonna do sort of two in one but basically these are from glossy box so they've released a brand new bare minerals glossy box this is a limited edition one if you don't know what whoo, 
if you don't know what glossy box is it's basically a subscription based service where you get beauty products delivered to your house each month and you can kind of you can sign up for one off or you can sign up for whatever amount of time and prices will vary i've got a discount code let me find it for you so my discount code is Lydia30, so that'll get you 30% off if you just type that in the promo box. Also, I'll leave a link below that you can go and subscribe to Glossybox directly. So basically what it's saying about, I found the actual press release for this box. It's worth over £75, limited edition makeup, and it contains five makeup and skincare products so this is what's so great about glossy box is that basically you get loads of products for such a discounted price and they're always really great products as well i think they make such good choices in their boxes so if it's too late to get this one i'm really sorry but they do you know it's it's a monthly subscription service i'm going to show you something else in a minute from them but yeah the, there are loads of amazing products that they use so this i'm very excited to try yet I feel like I've been so busy the past, well, well, past week or so that I've not really got a chance to experiment with new products. So this is a highlighter by Bare Minerals. So I'll just give this a spritz. Ooh. I never know whether you can tell on camera or not. We actually went to look yesterday for a brand new camera. Not, not really a vlogging camera, but something that we can use oh, a bit more for making better videos so watch this space but cameras are so expensive um so i need to make sure it's the worthy investment also i got the prime time primer <laughs> prime time primer which i'm at the end of in my makeup bag at the moment i'm literally you know when you get to the point where you've taken the lid off and you're you know scraping up the last bits it actually lasted for ages and it's still got loads left in but it's not using the pumpy thing anymore because there's not enough at the bottom um but yeah this is the prime time original it's so great it goes on really light it covers you completely blows out all your pores and i just find this such a good primer and the size is great for travel as well tim has texted me three times what's he saying there are so many vlogging cameras. Oh, this is so relevant. Oh, he's messaging about cameras. So that is very relevant to what we are just talking about. Anyway, back to Bare Minerals. So Lashtopia, which is very exciting. Hmm. I've managed to misshape the box of this. So new mascara. I actually find also with Bare Minerals, what kind of wand is this? Ooh, very chunky and thick. This looks like it's going to create quite a dramatic effect. I like the look of that already. Also, again, great for travelling because it's not too big, not too heavy. Really easy to just flash into your bag. Also, in longevity, vital power infusion. What is this? After cleansing, apply two pumps over the entire face and neck morning and night. So that's that. So that's some more skincare from Bare Minerals. I don't think I've ever tried kind of skincare. I've only tried their makeup products before, which I really like. I really like their Mineral Veil powder too. And then we've got a little bronzer and I love the look of this. It's called, is it called Warmth? Endless Summer Bronzer Warm. What I like about this is it doesn't look shimmery, which is great because I don't like that shimmery look. And also maybe to just warm up my complexion now that I'm not using fake tan, just to kind of buff it in a little bit might be quite helpful. So I've had to get up to get this next one. <laughs> it's that time of year. Advent calendar time. Because of the job I work in, Christmas, unfortunately, because as much as I like Christmas, I don't like it starting so early. But unfortunately, in the marketing and PR world, Christmas starts um, as soon as summer's finished. So I've got two advent calendars to show you. The first one is this glossy box one. So again, subscription-based service. I'm gonna read to you about this. All the products are revealed inside. <laughs> so they say this is a um, spoiler. Again, use Lydia30 for the code, but basically it's got loads of products. So it's saying in here, it's got Chloe, Dermalogica, NYX, Tarte Cosmetics. So, so many different products. I'm kind of spoiling it for myself here by reading this, but 
I'll probably forget by the time Christmas comes. But yes, yeah, so many good products. And it's quite a nice, uh, although Christmas, um, you actually give the gifts at the end of December, it's quite nice to treat yourself to something during December just to perk up those, you know, dreary, dark days in winter and you've got this to open in the morning. It's just kind of perks you up a little bit, doesn't it? So a nice little treat for yourself, but also a great gift for somebody else. I just think it's such a nice concept. I'm gonna try and, let me try and find some more info about this, because I have got a press release on my email somewhere. Okay, so basically, it's 70 pounds for subscribers. It's available to pre-order now through the Glossy Lounge and £80 for non-subscribers. So not really that much of a difference if you just want to try it out for the month of December. It might be worth just doing that and then seeing if you enjoy the idea of getting a monthly beauty delivery. It's launching on the 27th of December, it says. So um, again, Lydia 30 gets you 30% off. Let me know if it doesn't work or anything and I'll speak to them about it. I have actually worked with Glossy Box in the past but I just think they're such a lovely company. I went to their event so I met the girls that I'm dealing with which is always nice because I don't often get to meet the people behind the emails. Um, so they're really nice girls and yeah I just think it's such a great concept. And you know 25 treats for every day of December for £70 worth over 370 did I say? Not bad. Okay I'm gonna get the other advent calendar now. So, this one is from M&S. This is worth over £300 as well. So again, such a good concept. So either of these would be great for gifts. So it is £40 when you spend £25 on clothing, home and beauty in store or online at m and So you can spend £25. I mean, probably most of us, did it, what did it say? clothing, home and beauty, probably most of us at some point will buy something from m and and if you don't then maybe your mum will or you know somebody in the family is likely to go shopping at m and at some point so you'll get it for £40 if you spend £25 which is great so it's basically 25 products um, to treat yourself during the festive period. So it's saying it's worth over £300. There's everything, oh it's got a whole list of everything that's on it. It's available in store and online from the 31st of October. And it's literally got, wow, it's got everything in it. It's got body butter, to primer, to lipstick, to fragrances. I, I actually think, you know, if it's somebody's birthday in December, this would be a really good product. I feel like, is it jinxing it by opening one? Maybe. I might save them. I'm thinking of doing Vlogmas because we'll be in the new flat, which is really exciting. So I'm thinking of really doing a good Christmassy kind of Vlogmas. Maybe not every day because I think that's just a bit overwhelming, but uh, maybe a few times a week and I can include all these products within that. But yeah, definitely worth getting your hands on and both really affordable as well for what they present you with. God, how long have I been going on for now? Like 20 minutes probably. Tim's gonna hate me because he edits these videos. He's gonna hate me for rambling on this much because he has no interest in beauty products. So, sorry Tim. Um, anyway, I don't know when I'm next gonna vlog. Just filmed a video this morning. It is quite a productive day already. Got a video filmed, done all this, revealed all this, and it's only 20 past 10. So I'm gonna crack on now. I've got so much to do. Bits of things, admin work, editing the video that I've just filmed. It's a styling video. Um, got loads of emails to reply to, pictures to edit etc etc so i'm gonna get on with that now i'm not sure whether i'm gonna vlog it and i'm probably pick up the camera sometime soon this weekend i want to have a really big wardrobe clear out and get everything sorted sort of for when we for moving really but also swap all my summer things around sell some some things so yeah that is this weekend i'll speak to you shortly Whoop. So it's now Monday. When did I last vlog? 
I can't remember, but is it Friday? I think it was Friday. Um, so obviously the weekend's been, didn't really do much to be honest. I had a huge clear out of Depop. Not a huge clear out of Depop stuff, a huge clear out and then I put it on Depop. Sent them all to the post office this morning. I think I had about 14 or 15 parcels. So the post office lady loved me this morning. Anyway, as I said, it's now Monday. It's Monday afternoon and I've wanted to show you a few bits and pieces that have come in. Most of them I've bought, but if I haven't, if I've been sent something, I'll let you know. So I just thought I'd kind of use this as an opportunity to actually show you what I've got. I've got a day at home today and tomorrow. I filmed a video this morning and I was just gonna explain not explain, but this morning I posted something on Instagram about comparing and how this job basically lends itself to comparing to you other people all the time because one thing you've no colleagues so all you've got to kind of go off and motivate yourself and push yourself is kind of seeing what other people in the industry are doing and that's not to say you're like copying them but just to see how they're up in their game or what kind of style of content of theirs performs well or there's a constant um a constant need not need but well it is a need in a way because you have to do it to almost forward your own ideas but they are your colleagues so that's what you kind of go after compare yourself and push yourself to and I feel like comparison is such a difficult thing and it's something we all have to deal with especially in this day and age and there's a quote something like comparison is the thief of joy which is so true because I feel like I've got so much like positive things going on but my mindset is just not always that way and I kind of wanted to share it just because I kind of I always share my things and what I'm doing and like nice events and things like that but that is not to say that I don't struggle and I find this job really difficult sometimes it's not your usual job where you go out nine to five you don't see people on a daily basis it's quite good now with him doing half the week for me but he's on holiday at the moment so i'm not seeing him but um i usually would see him in the daytime but it's quite difficult working by yourself all the time because you've nobody to kind of bounce off or share ideas or motivate you so you're just motivating yourself which isn't always that easy but i just thought i wanted to kind of share that because this is like a three minute rant but um i just wanted to share it because i feel like the influencer industry not even the influencer industry because i know people talk about it but me myself i tend not to share things like this and I tend not to share when i'm feeling a bit down or stressed or worried or anxious and all of those things happen to me on a daily basis as my family and Tim knows very well, it is something I struggle with. And I just wanted to share that and put it out there because I just feel like people can relate a bit more to me rather than just being like, here's everything I've got that's new today and then that being it and that's my personality because it's not. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes and I just wanted to share it and yeah, I don't know. I, it's a weird time at the moment because we're moving out I think three weeks today. So I feel like I'm waiting for that to happen before I can really kickstart things. And I feel like my content's often limited because I can't just nip out and shoot. Anyway, there's a whole host of things, but I just thought I'd share that and you know how I'm feeling. And if you are feeling the same, I think it's so important to just kind of let your emotions out because that's how I felt this morning. I kind of worked myself up and got quite upset. And then as soon as I'd done that, I was, in a better mind frame already and I was a bit more like right okay so I'm gonna make a cup of tea have a deep breath and I'm gonna write a to-do list and then just focus on that today rather than anybody or anything else so I think that's really important to just take a step back and appreciate just the little things and just do things for yourself and not about other people sometimes getting upset kind of like gets it all out so I think it's not a bad thing to feel down or low because it kind of progresses you to move forward. Anyway, now that that's done, let's talk about something a little bit more fun. So yeah, I was just gonna show you what I got um, in terms of new pieces. Let's start with this. So this is a new tracksuit by ASOS. I ordered it yesterday on ASOS Next Day Delivery, Premier Delivery. It's now been reduced, I've seen an email. It, it bumped up apparently to 14 pounds something a year. Now it's back to 10. 
so get it whilst you can. So this is a ASOS design jogger suit, £24 for both of them, which is so affordable because usually you have to buy these pieces separately. It's so soft, it just feels so lovely on. I feel like little things like some nice loungewear can really cheer you up and boost your mood. So it's nice to just get a new piece like this. And then these slippers are from a brand called Sheepskin World. I've had them quite a while now, but they've served me very, very well. Right, I'm gonna show you the other pieces now. So this is my next piece. You can't really see it here, but I'm gonna try it on now. It's from Pixie Market and actually looks really nice with gray. I'm gonna slip that on now. I was just about to start showing you this and then the postman came to the door. Um, he brought a leather shirt, which I'm doing a campaign on. So I'm sure you'll see that at some point. So I've got the skirt on. I mean, I obviously wouldn't wear it with the slippers, but I love it with the gray. I feel like this is such an autumnal piece and it's like this chocolatey I think the shade is chocolate but it's very slight purpley tinge in fact I think it looks a bit more purpley on camera than it does in real life but yeah it just feels so lovely pixie market if you don't know what it is I think they're based in America but they are a gorgeous brand I feel like every single one of their pieces is exactly like my style and what I would choose and this is just absolutely gorgeous and it's got a little underskirt with it as well so it falls a lot more nicely than a lot of satin than a lot of slip skirts you know if you can get them from slightly more affordable brands but this you pay a little bit extra and I feel like you really get the quality for that and the cut and shape etc but they're not you know they're not completely over the top prices and I do think they're really worth it if you want something a little bit more special so I definitely think I will be wearing this a lot over the new season. These two pieces are from Lovie, so the shirt and the jeans, forgot what they were called for a minute, the shirt and the jeans, so basically these were sent to me, oh sorry, and I forgot to say the Pixie Market one was also sent to me by the brand, I've got quite a good relationship with them now, and Lovie's very kindly also sent these to me. The thing is, when I order from Lovie's, I order in their sizes because it's a foreign brand. So I order from their site, which is like small, medium, large, whereas if you order in England from their site, you do like 8, 10, 12. So I'm not sure what this would constitute as, but I think a medium would be a 10. So I ordered both of these in a medium. I've just got to say these are a little bit baggy, but I like the fit in the leg, but they're always, I always find that they're a bit baggy around the waist. But with a belt, I think they'll be absolutely fine. And they've got the lovely raw hem as well. And then this blouse is so pretty. I mean, these are so in at the moment. Just got the high neck here, which I think kind of makes a difference on these blouses. If it were, didn't have the high neck, it wouldn't look the same. Puff sleeve, like not puff sleeve, but shoulder frill detail and the gathered cuff. And this looks really nice underneath a jumper as well. So you could have a round neck jumper and the sleeves and the collar poking through. And then I've got these earrings from Mango. So they're like this kind of cut out detail. And I think they're from like their special sort of gold collection. I'm not sure exactly, but I will link these below and I bought those. Yeah, just such a classic, simple look. And then also from Mango, I got this like cropped jacket cardigan thing, which I think is going to come in really handy. It's like this gorgeous, it's so soft with the buttons down here. I like that it's slightly cropped because I think that just looks really modern um, and on trend. And then it's got slightly boxier, bigger sleeves with the high neck here. But I think this would be really handy, you know, if you don't want to wear a blazer, but it's going to keep you the same amount of warmth as a blazer, if that makes sense. So it's not really in replacement of a coat because I definitely think in winter you're gonna to wanna to wear a coat over this. But I like the kind of idea of layering and it's like a cardigan but a bit more to it and a bit more, I don't know, a bit fresher and more modern than a cardigan. I really like this piece. Um, what else have I got to show you? My belt. So another piece from Mango is this belt. It's like slightly patenty with like the gold chain detail here which I think is really nice. I actually got this in, I think it was the smallest size they do because I wanted to wear it more waist high here 
but it does just about fit here as well. Um, for reference, I'm probably like a small size 10 UK, but I think it's just such a good belt. It's gonna go with everything, isn't it? Like I always wear gold jewelry as well, so it's gonna be perfect. Belted around blazers, dresses, different things like that. I think it's gonna be really useful and you don't have all the kind of hanging stringy bit at the, at the end because I got this in a smaller size. So then I got this dress, which looks like it needs a bit of an iron, but this is from the Berkshire collection at ASOS. It just fits so well. I got this in a size medium, I think. It hangs quite loosely, which is nice. It's not like billowy or gapy. It just kind of hangs nice and straight. And this gorgeous kind of beigey, neutrally shade, just so cozy. I've got it with these H&M boots but I don't think they're around anymore the old season you could wear this with any boots or it'd look nice with trainers or black like ankle boots flat ankle boots but it's just such a cozy piece I think I could definitely get my wear out of this hi everyone so I've not quite had the day that I expected to have today basically it's now Wednesday sorry I'm just changing my boots it's now Wednesday and I was meant to be in Manchester earlier on today with Freya. Um, we were going to shoot two outfits. I've got two campaigns that, ow, oh, just wipe the heel of my boot off. <gasps> Ouch. We we're meant to be shooting two outfits. One was two sponsored posts, so they need to be done. But I got a phone call from my mum saying she was really not very well at school. She's a teacher. And could I go and pick her up? So I had to do that. And she's a lot better now we think she, we we think we know what it is but i was with her all afternoon and then dropped her off at the doctors before and then rushed to manchester afterwards so i've made it in for the event that we were going to but unfortunately not managed to shoot my outfits I turn the car off because it rattles not managed to shoot my outfits but you know what that's okay i'm gonna do them tomorrow with tim because he's back from lisbon where he's been on holiday so i'm gonna shoot that tomorrow you know what some things sometimes you just kind of realize the importance of other things compared to some things so although my shooting my outfits was important and it's obviously a job and paid work obviously my mum much 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 more prioritize that so she's all right now though so that's good anyway i am at the car park as you can tell just got to manchester i've just changed my boots you can't really see my outfit because i've got a thingy i might try and get freya to show it in a minute i just shoot shot this outfit and we're going into the event which is with astrid and mew which is lovely and exciting tim's just texted me saying that he was setting off flying so just saying goodbye I'm gonna go over to his once he's back from his flight. Anyway, I'm gonna get Freya to show my outfit. We're gonna shoot these outfits very quickly before the sun goes down. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah, should be a lovely evening. We're with, yeah, Astrid and Mew. Sorry, that's what I was saying. I feel like my head's a bit all over the place. Astrid and Mew at Cottonopolis, which I've never actually eaten at before. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've lost my braces case as well. I need to take my braces out. Anyway, I'll see you when we get in or I'll try and show my outfit or something. Um, yeah. Rum. So, we, well, we're literally opposite Cotton Apples now. This is what I'm wearing, which I tried to show you in the car. This top, I can't even remember where it's from, but it was last year. But I'll try and find something similar because there are lots of puff sleeves around at the moment. <laughs> belt is new from mango so i'll definitely link that and new skirt by pixie market and boots from zara lovely bag jacket new bag uh, not new bag. <laughs> <laughs> um bag gucci zara leather jacket but i'm not that's not really part of my outfit that's just for an that's just layer, but yeah for warmth but this skirt feels so i love the color of it slippery slippery little sucker for seal <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna head into cottonopolis now and yeah, get give us a shimmy, Lydia shimmy. Woo! <laughs>
the road, crossing the road, <laughs> trotting, trotting. Doing that run. <laughs> We might as well just walk. Did you? You know did when you, you go watch? the same pace, you look yeah, like you're running, but you're going just as like quick as if you were walking. Okay. Did you watch Miranda? No, I, she I did um, the, a gallop. A gallop. <laughs> anyway, we have finished at the event now. Clearly. Anyway, anyway. we have finished at the event now. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> <laughs> Literally had a diet coke. I've had a one prosecco and a diet coke. I don't even know. I'm moving back to the car now, but it was such a lovely event. Thank you to the girls for having us. Yeah, it was lovely. It was really nice to actually meet them because the girl who I was sat next to, she said she first emailed me when I very first started blogging, so that was nice. Oh, to... did she? Yeah, um, and I remember because they were a brand that I did start like collaborating with. From oh, really? From See, I've only discovered the brand recently. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. I love no, it though. Though. But I'd lost one of their ear cuffs and we hopefully I've got one to Yeah, I've opened mine. Where I've are we one. going? Because yeah, there's, there's where's the pay machine? And it's there. That is not the pay machine. <laughs> where is it? It's there, it's there, it's there. We're staggering around the car park. We're, <laughs> so, like, we're both ready to put flat shoes on. Oh yeah. A coat. Oh, I'm gonna say goodbye to my vlog now. Goodbye. So, so long. long. Farewell. I'll be the same as you. Oh, did you? Did you? To you in you in you. So we're at the pay machine. Here we go. Let's pay. Let's find my ticket. There's always the panic. There's always the panic for the ticket. Big spiders here last week when I came. Okay. See the damage. Eight pounds fifty. That's all right. Oh, she's not done receipt. Oh, you touched the actual screen. Oh, I've done it. Got mine. Where's my receipt though? Receipt, come on. Oh, there we go. So Tim is literally just coming back from Lisbon now. I think he's due to land any minute. So I'm gonna go back to his house. Not seen him for five days, five nights. So that'll be nice. Just I'll see you on Friday. Yes. This, I think that'll Day be in a new tomorrow. vlog. I yeah, think me I'm too. just gonna start a new vlog. Me too, and it here. But yeah. Such a lovely event. We've got a few coming up for these next Yeah, we've got a few nice Starting events, which I always feel like there's like come autumn time there's a lot yeah. more going on lead up to christmas and it's it? nice so I feel like i've got another advent calendar coming oh, uh keels oh the yeah me too. Yeah, yeah 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 i can't wait for that one yeah it's actually a countdown i think it's like a 12 day of christmas oh right with selfridges so it should My, be a good I look one awful. anyway i'm here i've, I'm I've said goodbye, goodbye to the vlog about 20 times i'll say goodbye <laughs> to you bye i'm gonna get my flats on bye Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Stay tuned for next time. See you then. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.